This is what I used to do. Read a Bible chapter and just stare at the pages trying to soak in what I had just read. Thinking that this was me meditating on God's word. It might work for some people with their relationship with God, but it did not work for me completely. So I began to wonder, what am I doing wrong? God told us to seek Him, to find Him. I prayed. I meditated on God's word, wrote some notes I found from Christian sites, but something was missing. I prayed to God the same prayer for weeks. God, change my heart because I'm trying to seek you, but I feel no change. Help me feel closer to you, Lord. I'm seeking you. I'm seeking you. Reveal yourself to me, God. Good God. Then one morning I read a Bible chapter and pulled out a journal and reflected on my thoughts and opinions and let the Spirit interfere if needed. Suddenly, my mind toward God changed and my heart softened. I don't know where I had been. I thought I was close to God, but I realized that this little step might have been a bigger one. For it brought me closer to God. It helped me comprehend more who he truly is, and I finally felt like I was actually seeking the Lord. So this is what meditating on God's word looks like. Because I found something. A greater understanding. This is how I did it. First, I bullet point the main events of the chapter. Second, I look at each point and analyze them for myself looking for ways certain words, lines, reveal God's character, or see how certain characters describe us, reveal our human habits, and I can look for ways we can grow. Third, from there on it just flows. The Holy Spirit takes over and you begin to notice more and more and more and more and you find yourself writing another paragraph just when you thought you had written the last one. Finally. I highlight the greatest revelations I had in my notes. I find that this is the most fruitful way of journaling the Bible. But here's all the other ways you can fill a journal dedicated to the Lord. For journals, there's no rules. You don't have to use words only. You can draw your feelings or in moments that you feel inspired. If you have a dream, draw it. If you feel like it. Or write it, however you feel. You don't have to be artistic to draw, doodle. You are meant to make your journal feel like home at the end of the day. Write down the prayers God has answered so you can look back on them when you need encouragement and faith. Confession analysis is where you face yourself and you admit how you feel. You can analyze how you feel, what the outcome of the feeling is, and the cause for the feeling. When God speaks to you, Write it down and just have a page full of quotes from God. This is a page for when God answers a question you did not understand before, but now you do. The Bible says that the mouth speaks of what the heart is full of, so do a speech analysis to see where you need to grow. I think we all have questions to God, so ask them. Prayer list is where you put down people's requests, and you write down just prayers you feel like you need to pray. Make a list of prayers which you await for to unfold. Here you have the paper, for the book that you are reading in the Bible and you make it look something like this. This journal is your home so make it big, bold, colorful. As Christians we go through season and I think that it is so cool to write down the title of a season that we are going through. So you can write each season title on the side of a leaf. Write down the month and the lessons you learned that month. Treat it like your diary, except God is the only one who reads it other than yourself. And this is where the shift begins to happen in your journaling journey. There is a correct way of journaling and there's a fun way of journaling. And those two can be put together. They can work in Christ. Don't make it as serious and strict on yourself as you think you should have it. It is not something we do because we are expected to. We do this because it is a way of connecting to our Heavenly Father and it genuinely helps. So go get your journal and start afresh.